We came to uh, Minnesota for a job opportunity here back in 2007. She was in Mexico City. She was in a bilingual school. It was hard for her to, to leave her friends behind. Sabrina was a fourth grader when she first came into Minnetonka Public Schools. I think being in Minnetonka, the class size being small and the teachers um, was able to provide her with, with the attention that she needed. Really just treated me like the rest of the kids and that really helped in feeling like I was just like the other kids. We did business as usual. We included her in with our regular activities. First day of school and this girl came up to me and she was like, hey, you wanna hang out with us? You seem pretty lonely on the first break. I didn't have to worry about who I could and could not put her with. I didn't have to worry about who would or who would not watch out for her because I felt like that was just our classroom culture and everybody was going to do that for her. I think the district creates such a community feeling that when you find the people that you really like, you stick with them and it's really easy to do something like that. In middle school, she was in the theater, the different musicals. She was able to find what her passions are. She's always been actually, and ever since she was little, very creative writer. I really, really appreciated the arts program there and the theater department because it was just all about having fun. It never was a well, I don't really know the language, or I don't really understand that. It was always, give me more, give me more. And that's, I think that's who Sabrina is. She never stops wanting to learn and grow. She's written a play. I just went to see her one-act play over at the high school, which was phenomenal. Obviously, Minnetonka High School, just the rigor of all the classes really helps me to feel comfortable and push myself at the same time. Sabrina is an outstanding student. She, I think she would succeed in, in any culture or situation because she is such a careful, sensitive, thoughtful, critical reader. I really do appreciate the school district has been giving her so many different opportunities to grow in different ways, socially, academically. The teachers have been really great. She typically stays after school for a couple of hours, just kind of goes into the writing center and writes away. I'm planning to go to the University of Southern California. I'm going to be in the thematic option honors program, really going above maybe what other people expected of me. I think it's really just all the people that seem to care about me a lot and just the community there.